At Bradford Beach, the waves are crashing against the shore, providing a scenic backdrop. But the usual hustle and bustle of beachgoers seems to be missing. Somebody had a gun, and they were either shooting at somebody or like they were just waving it around. It was just people were just like running everywhere. It was just insane. That was the last time Aaron Esser ever stepped foot on Milwaukee's only major beach. It was like broad daylight, and he just decided to wave a gun around. And she says that until the city enacts stricter guidelines, she won't be heading there even with the summer temperatures approaching. That's not somewhere that I'm comfortable bringing my friends, people that I care about. With summer still two months away, there have already been reports of crime on Bradford Beach, including two shootings and a body pulled from the lake. Now on a day like today where it's 40 degrees with a lot of wind chill, nobody's really going to be coming out to Bradford Beach. But with summer temperatures on the horizon, Marquette students and Milwaukee residents are hoping that Bradford Beach steps up their safety game. Yeah, I suppose that there could be some kind of uh, lifeguard system that might be available to, to make me feel more safe. Someone to both watch what's going on in the water, on the beach, and any suspicious activity kind of coming into the space as well. But on the flip side, Robertson says that there will have to be a fine line between security and accessibility for those in Milwaukee. It's kind of hard because I want everyone to feel, um, you know, very accessible, not have an issue of, you know, gates or anything, because I want to keep it, you know, very available for the community. But for now, students will have to wait and see come summertime. I'm TJ Dysart, Marquette Wire News.